Hey guys, what's going on? Tyraku here, and I'm not even joking. I've literally tried to do this video now probably 10 times or more, and it's not even that complex of a subject. I tried to jam pack as much value and as much information into this thing as I could, but it just ended up going all over the place. So what I want to share with you guys is one simple graph, okay? It's a graph that I created. I've been searching for things on Reddit. I've been searching for things on various parts of the internet, trying to find more information on this, but I wasn't able to find information that was 100% correct. Some of the information that I found, I was e easily able to find that it was incorrect myself based on looking at my gear. So what this is, in case you didn't know, all gear, even if the star level and the rarity is exactly the same, is not created equal. Now, why am I going over this? I've had a lot of people on stream lately asking me, what's better, star level or rarity? Now, it's a very, very difficult question to answer because there is no answer to it. And if anybody says a clear cut answer, then they're most likely wrong, to be honest, because there's no clear cut answer. I mean, obviously, if you're compa comparing a one star to a six star piece of gear, something like that, then yeah, there's going to be an obvious answer. But in general, people who are making these comparisons are it's like six star legendary compared to like a um six star epic or something like that or like a five star legendary compared to a six star rare it's very you can't make a clear-cut decision on either one of those because the roles are not made equal let me give you an example here okay so let's go to resistance substat i'll scroll down here to my toxic set and i have a perfect example right here six star piece of gear six star piece of gear six star piece of gear 11 resistance let me get my head ducked down so you actually can see this. Nine resistance and 12 resistance. So all the same pieces of gear. Actually, two, the, the weapons are exactly the same, but the, the substats are not the same. This, the accuracy stays the same, but the speed and the resistance, they're different. And then here, the resistance is still different. Now, the graph that I've made breaks down the potential for all, all your substat rolls. So if you get a piece of gear and you roll it and you think, hey, this is a really good piece of gear. You can come in here and check it to see, okay, let me see. I have a crit rate chest plate. And if this video is helpful for you guys, if you're enjoying this kind of content, definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. It helps me out so much with really getting this content out there and pushed out. So if you want to come in here and look at your gear, I got a, a quad roll crit rate on my cold heart. Go into this graph and let's say, hey, is this very good? It's five star gear. Let's look at the crit rate, five star gear. 20% is the minimum, 30% is the maximum, and this is a 26%. So it's on the higher end, but it's not anywhere that close to the maximum. So this is just a mediocre quad roll piece of gear. Um, now, if you come up here to this shield, this one's a little bit on the lower end, 24% quad roll, five star, definitely not looking great, but hey, it is a quad roll. It's definitely very good, but it could literally be outdone by a triple roll with just better luck. I mean, 20% to 30%, this could be a 24 over here. This, a triple roll could be exactly the same as my quad roll. So just so you know, if you're constantly like, oh, I really need a quad roll, you may not actually need it as bad as you think because there's just such a big variable. There's such a, there's just such a big variety in the potential rolls you can get for your gear. It's very hard to say what's more important, the star level or the rarity. Obviously, in case you didn't know this, rarity, common pieces of gear don't have any substats. Uncommon have one, rare have two, um, epic have three, and legendary have four. Legendary gear are, is the only type of gear you can quad roll on. And whenever you're upgrading at four, eight, 12, and 16, you'll either unlock a new substat or you'll get a modifier on one of the substats that are already up there. Now, when you're looking at this graph, if you're already looking at this, first off, don't criticize the look of it. I know it's not the most beautiful thing, but hopefully you can move past that. But when you're looking at this, if you're looking at this HP percent up here and you're thinking, um, all right, dude, your uh, your math is a little off because quad roll means four and four times five is not 25. You're right. Four times five is not 25. That is definitely correct. But five times five is 25. You got a math lesson and a graph in one video. So why is this? Okay. If you got a quad roll on a piece of gear, that means you have four modifiers plus the one stat that's already there. So five times five is 25. You have the initial crit rate. If it was 5%, it 
which is, or the initial, let's do HP percent. Crit rate is the same range though. The initial initial stat, which was 5%, if it's at all minimum, the first modifier, 5%, the second modifier, third and fourth, and then it totals it to be 25%. So this is the total maximum. Same thing with triple. Instead of being three times whatever number up here it is, it's four times whatever number up there. Um, double is times three. And single would be times two because you have that one stat already there. So this had already had some resistance and then it just got an added resistance on there. For example, six star with resistance. Um, let's go ahead and look for this six star with resistance. Looks like um, this is basically awful. Um, so we have the single roll 18 to 24 and this rolled a 19. So we're a little better than the absolute worst, but we're right down there with the bad. So this could either make you feel really good about your gear rolls or pretty crappy. But either way, hopefully this can give you like an idea of maybe what kind of stuff you're actually working with. Maybe you got some really good rolls. Maybe you're trying to min-max some champions. You can kind of take a look at that and see what the potential is. If nothing else, this hopefully lets you see that it may actually be worth rolling up some of your five-star pieces of gear, whether they're epic or legendary, because you could very well get better substats on those than the comparative six-star legendary piece of gear. And I mean, it's very hard to give a specific answer on this because there's so many stat substats that you really need to go for versus ones that are not as important. Here's a little graph that flo has floated around the raid community for a while, but stats like speed and accuracy typically have like a soft cap. Like you need to get to this level of speed and accuracy. So they're very valuable. So it's very difficult when it comes to what's the most important thing, like giving a hard and fast answer. And it's different for every single account. But hopefully with this, you can keep, you, this lets you realize that, hey, that five-star epic piece of gear that I have may actually be worth rolling, and leveling up to eight, maybe even 12 and seeing what it rolls. I mean, because if it gets a triple roll, it can very well compete with a six star piece of gear without much of an issue. So definitely keep that in mind if you haven't already had that in mind. And if you're not already doing that, like I said, this is a question I've been getting asked a lot on stream and it's very difficult to give a solid answer for everybody. So here is a graph, here's some resources. Hopefully you can make your own decision based on this. If you have any questions, guys, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help answer them. Like I said, I tried to do this video so many times and I couldn't get it out clear and concise enough. So hopefully this made it do that. Hopefully you can understand exactly what's going on here. And I'll just elaborate more if you have any questions down below. I don't want to get into too much details, but I'll make a follow-up video more than happy to if you have some specific questions and we can get into a deeper dive. But other than that, guys, feel free to click one of the videos that are about to pop up. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.